Design video. My name is Annika, one of the creative team member from N MBK Design. The products you will see in this video were received free of charge as part of my free creative teamwork for NBK Design. In this video, I want to show you the May 2018 collection called Delightful. The collection is more in soft colors. Here you can see the color. And if we have a look here at the solids, you can see the color palette. Um, which is used in this collection. So I thought about brushes and we will make a page mostly by ourselves using brushes. In the collections from MBK Design you have always brush um, folders and style styles folders and we have the artsy bits and pieces. I call them the ready to use uh, splashes because um, the designer, MBK Design, or <clears throat> already created such uh, brushes or splashes together with uh, um, some words or flowers or real elements. And they are beautiful. And I think if we have the luxury that the designer did this for us, we can use them. But we also have those amazing um, folders with the... Um, um, toolboxes and brushes and styles and I think a lot of people don't know how to use them and in this video I want to show you it, how you can use brushes and styles. So first go into the brush folder if you want to use this collection and we install all four um, brushes. Just click on it and it's automatically installed in Photoshop. If you have an older version, go to your brush here, open the brush tool and then go to this gear icon and then you can import brushes or load brushes. So um, let's start with a solid paper. If we use brushes and we make our own background, it's always good to start with a solid paper, but I'm pretty sure I will change this at the end, but we need to start with something and this is the paper I will start. And I have already chosen a photo, this is from Paxlis, and I will use this. But first, Let's create a little bit the background and we need a mask because I want to add the photo into a mask. And as I said in this uh, video, we will make our own masks, our own splashes. And so we need a new layer first. And then we go into our brushes and let's start with the brush tool paints here. And you can see they have colors, which means there are dynamic brushes with a color dynamic. I know some of you don't have these colors, they are only um, black, but it doesn't matter. So if we choose one, for example, and then we go here to the settings, you can see we have this color dynamic. And if you have only the... Uh, um, if you have only the brush in black, doesn't matter because we have the colors in our collection. So go to this uh, color folder and you have the swatches here. And install the swatches, just double click. And if you go to our swatches, here they are. Or you go to the lines and again load swatches if you have an older version. And now you can pick with your eyedropper um, a color and change the foreground color and change the, uh, select the next and then you have also your brush with colors so let's start with um, something like this and just make a splash you can change this at any time doesn't matter or we put it at the back or again a new layer and we go to our brushes and another one let's make this one if you um, make single clicks you can see the brush size changes this is because it's a dynamic brush 
okay something like this and now let's start to create a mask for our photo we have um, brush tool masks here open it and let's see yes and now we make our mask so something like this and in this case I will rename it mask so I don't have only layers called layer one two three so let's uh, name this mask and something like this and now let's drag the photo on top of the mask and I will flip it controller command T and I will flip it horizontal and now press alt and between the two layers and click and you can see this mask is very soft we barely can see the photo so we need to change the look of the mask make the layer again active and then we go to our brushes and let's have a look if we find another mask um, and you can see this is more um, opaque and something like this and let's go back to a more soft mask to refine the edges a little bit okay something like this is fine so now we created our own mask and we can go on and add some more brushes let's have a look close this uh, we have the chisels let's have a look at the chisels yes it's nice and again a new layer and we have paints we have blenders and let's use blenders okay and I will add this to the back yes and again a new layer okay I'll also bring it back and here okay now I'll make my background active I will try another background paper we have this pattern and I will try this no I will use the blend if and I will bring this a slider from the right to the left to blend the white parts something like this okay yes I like this okay and now let's have a look at the Lupila Lusa on the top bring it and okay and then let's have a look at this folder this we, we will not use the ready to use um, splashes we make our own but we can use some of the real elements butterfly is always nice and of course we need a word art Let's have a look at the word arts. Mm, 
this one and resize it. Don't forget, don't press the shift, only grab this little squares here and resize it. Yes, something like this. And what else do we have? Let's make again a new um, layer with brushes. Make one of the layers active and add a new um, layer and then go to the brushes and let's use this black because I want to show you how you can um, add styles. You can see this brush gives us a little bit of texture and I think we are nearly done. Let's um, move this on top. Uh, nope. Mm, no, let's on the bottom. And I wanted to show you how to add a style. And let's use mm, blenders, gesso, uh, or we can use a mask. Um, let's add here okay and then we need our styles so we have uh, neutral styles we have this style pants paint sorry and the watercolor styles. Let's install those two styles. Uh, you can install them also here in the styles panel. If you don't see it, go to window and check styles. And then you can go to these lines here and load styles here. So now let's have a look which style uh, styles looks best. Mm, I think I like this one. Okay, so you can see you can easily install, um, you can easily add styles also on some brush masks and um, let's make a new layer again and add some more. I will bring this on top because I don't like this uh, part, this one from the fence. I think it's the fence from this car and I will hide this with a brush and add a style. Mm. Yes, I like this one. So I hide this fence a little bit. Okay, and I think I'm done now. So we made this page all by ourselves with brushes and masks. We created our mask um, for, our, uh, for our own purpose and a little bit of real elements like the butterfly. You can add more flowers if you want and a word art as the final topping. And that's it. And thanks for watching. I hope I could give you some inspiration and see you next time. Bye.